Good morning, dear viewers. Welcome to Arise. This is the day that the Lord has made. My name is Pastor William Omole. Hope Christian Community is a ministry where I minister at. We are based in Siokimau. We started on a conversation yesterday and we are asking ourselves, what drives you? Because we have discovered that in this life, you're either being driven by the force of fear or by the force of faith. Both of them are strong forces but then they determine what becomes out of our lives. And we've been looking at two uh, certain characteristics in the scripture. To be particular, we're looking at the First Samuel chapter 17, an episode that took place where the children of Israel are confronted by one great enemy called Goliath. And we have discovered that each and every child of destiny will meet with a Goliath in their lives. Yesterday we were able to describe that Goliath could be anything that is coming against the purpose of God for your life. Goliath could be financial. Goliath could be spiritual. Goliath could be circumstantial. Goliath could be the background that speaks so loud over your life. Goliath could be the new territory that you're just about to step out into. Goliath could be that new company that you're just about to, to, to step out into and, and the finances is speaking so loud. And this thing seems to be defying the very assignment that God has given to you. And we have discovered, as we shall continue to see, that when Goliath speaks to you, you can either face Goliath by the force of fear or by the force of faith. Now, we saw yesterday that the children of Israel, when they heard the voice of Goliath, when they heard the champion speaking, and he was saying every day for 40 continuous days, give me a man that can come and fight against me. The Bible says, soul together with the entire army of the children of Israel were so scared. They were so much afraid that they hid. Goliath could even be a health situation. Goliath could be a financial situation. Goliath could be a job situation. Goliath could be a marital situation that keeps speaking to you. And whenever you hear his voice, you are scared. Whenever you hear his voice, fear comes into us. But then we are asking ourselves this question. What is the driving force? And, and so we discovered a few things yesterday that I would want to very quickly just go through. And we discovered yesterday that as God raises you up to the place of your assignment, you will meet with challenges. As God raises you up to the place of your assignment, you will meet with assign uh, challenges. And this is what I would want to tell you, dear viewer, that many of us assume that the fact that God is raising you, the fact that God has anointed you, the fact that God has called you, the fact that what you're doing is ordained by God, the fact that you received a prophetic word concerning that thing that you're doing, the fact that that which you are running with is ordained by God should be that there are no challenges. That is very far from the truth. As a matter of fact, any time God gives you an assignment, challenges always comes. They seem to come in the same package. There is no new challenge. There is no new blessing. There is no new level. There is no new mandate. There is no new operation that comes void of challenges. And so you need to understand as a child of destiny that every new level that God raises you into, you will always meet with new challenges. But then the other thing that it's important to understand is that the anointing in your life will attract significant challenges. And so we need to understand that some of the challenges we are going through is specifically because of the anointing that is upon our lives. Anointing doesn't just attract success. Anointing doesn't just come to help us succeed, but it also attracts great challenges. Anointing actually defines the kind of challenges that you're called to undertake. Now, we also understood that your significant challenge is equal to the calling of God on your life. And we were particularly looking at a scripture of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, where the Bible says, No temptation has come to you that is uncommon to men, but God will never allow you to be able to be tempted beyond that which you can bear. And that gives us the confidence of saying that there is no challenge that you face that you cannot be able to bear. I know sometimes our systems, I know sometimes 
when we look at our resources, when we look at everything around us, everything is crying out, I cannot bear this. I cannot make it. I cannot do that. But I am here to tell you this morning that if God has allowed it to come to you, then it's an indication that you can bear it. There is no mountain that you're facing that you cannot climb. There is no cross, if you are Christ, that you are facing today that you cannot carry. There is no Goliath, O David, that you cannot bear. If God allows it to you, then you have the capacity within you to be able to bear it. We have said that whatever God allows your way is equal to the grace that you carry. As a matter of fact, one of the ways through which we can measure and see the grace that we carry is the challenges that that grace attracts. You need to understand that if he wants you to raise to a high level leadership, then you will deal with high level challenges. That's important for each and every one of us to understand that you cannot deal with low level challenges if you are a high level leader. If God is raising you to the top, you cannot receive challenges of the bottom. If God is raising you to international level, you cannot be dealing with local challenges. So you need to understand that the challenges that you're going through is a direct indicator of the grace that you carry. Now the problem that we think, uh, most of us begin to imagine that the challenges we come, that we experience come to bring us down. But I am here to remind you that the grace is already here. And let me just take a few moments to encourage someone there. You might be going through a challenge right now. You might be climbing on a mountain. You might be facing a situation that seems to be hopeless. You might be experiencing a ministerial situation that you don't know what to do. You might be facing a, a situation that you don't have, you don't seem to have an answer to. I have a good news for you. The grace of God upon your life is equal to the task that you're facing. The grace of God upon your life is equal to the challenge that you're facing. You may not be seeing the way, but there is a way because that scripture says God makes a way with every temptation that we face. And so you need to also understand the third thing that we said yesterday is that the size of your challenge determines the size of your reward. Now this should be an encouragement to us. If you want to know the reward that is coming to you, then look at the battles that you're facing. Great rewards determine great battles. If you have to get great territories, then be prepared to fight great enemies. If you are to make multi-million business profit, then prepare to also get through those challenges. The challenges you're going through is an indicator of the reward that you are will also experience. The bigger the problem, the greater the reward. If you want high level rewards, you must solve high level problems. And so we have also said this, and I just want to say this for the sake of us that are joining us right now, is that Goliath is anything, any challenge that defies the authority of God in your life. Anything. It could be financial, it could be spiritual, it could be circumstantial, it could be background, it could be territorial. Whatever it is that is challenging the authority of the word of God, the sp spoken prophetic word, the promises of God over your life, that is your Goliath. And we finished yesterday by saying that Goliath is not a corporate enemy. Goliath is not an enemy for everyone. Goliath will single you out. That is why if you read from our scripture reference, he said we, the whole of the Philistine don't need to fight. That all of Israel don't need to fight. Give me a man that will be able to face me. Goliath is an enemy that requires direct response. Goliath is an enemy that will single you out from an entire company. Goliath is an enemy that will single you out from an entire nation. That is why you're the only one who seems to have the same burden. You're the only one who seems to be going through those situations. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not need to be discouraged. Goliath is an enemy that is setting you up for your destiny. Goliath is an enemy that is raising you up to your notoriety. Goliath is your in that enemy that is lifting you up to the purpose of God. We said yesterday that Goliath is an instrument of God to remove you from your comfort zone. Goliath is an instrument of God to bring out the best within you. 
Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll give us an example. Many of us enjoy cold juice, but you do not know what the fruit had to go through in order for you to enjoy that juice. Goliath is the enemy that will squeeze out the juice in you so that you can be able to produce the juice that is required by many people. And so as you're facing your Goliath, as you're going through many circumstances and situations, we are telling you here, you should not be afraid, but rather you should face your Goliath with faith. As we go through this break, I just want us to enjoy some little music and then we shall continue to even learn more. Welcome back, our dear viewers. This is Arise, and I hope you enjoyed the music, and I hope you're enjoying even as we're getting this conversation going. My name is Pastor William Omole from Hope Christian Community in Siokimau. And we are having this conversation. We're asking ourselves, what drives you? And today we are particularly looking at the challenges that comes our way. We have already, we are looking at John, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17, and we're looking at the whole episode about Goliath and the children of Israel and David. It was the same enemy, but their reactions were different. It was the same threat. But to some people, they were afraid. But to David, he saw an opportunity because he was driven by faith. Yet the rest of the army of Israel were driven by fear. And there are a few things that we have already mentioned. I just want to go through that again so that you, in case you're just joining us, we have said anytime God is lifting you up, you must expect challenges. Anytime God is lifting you up, you must expect challenges. As a matter of fact, I dare say challenges are part and parcel of God's process to getting us to our destiny. Many of us are afraid when we face challenges, but we need to, we need to face those challenges by faith. There is a, and we have said the second thing is that any challenges that come to you, they come to us as a result of the grace of God that we carry. Every challenge we face is equivalent to the grace that we carry. God will never allow you to be tempted beyond what you can carry. Now, the third thing that we have said is that the size of your challenge determines the size of your reward. The bigger the challenge, the bigger the reward. You don't expect to get great rewards if you're solving small problems. God expects you that if you will be able to rise and get great rewards, then he will expect you to solve great problems. And we have also tried to define who Goliath is. And this is important because of our conversation as we shall keep going on. We have said that Goliath is anything, any challenge, any problem that comes to defy the authority of God in your life. Anything that threatens to stop you from fulfilling the purpose of God for your life is your Goliath. It could be monet monetary. It could be uh, your background. It could be spiritual. Whatever it is that is coming to stop you from fulfilling your purpose of God for your life is Goliath. And we have said a few things about Goliath. One of the things that we have said is that Goliath is not a communal enemy. Goliath is a challenge that will single you out from the crowd. Goliath is an enemy that is tailor-made for you. Goliath sometimes and most of the time is an instrument of God to pull you out of your comfort zone. Goliath, like we said, is that thing that will come to squeeze out the ability of God. That thing that will come to generate the anointing. That thing that will come to ignite the purpose of God into fulfillment. That is Goliath. And we have said Goliath demands a direct response. He doesn't want other people to fight on your behalf. Also, let me prepare you, oh child of destiny. Let me prepare you. There are battles that are earmarked for you. You might be in a crowd, but the crowd cannot fight for you. You could be in a family, but the family will not fight for you. You could be in a large church, in a large ministry, but the minister will not fight for you. If it is Goliath you're facing, it is an enemy that is tailor-made and earmarked specifically for you. So I encourage you this morning to strengthen your muscles and harden your face and go out there ready to face Goliath. Now it's important for us to understand 
that the price tag on Goliath is very high. He has a very high reward. Goliath is an enemy that has a great reward. Goliath is a circumstance. Goliath is an opportunity. As we have already learned and known that not every problem is actually a problem. Within every problem, there is an opportunity. And so Goliath is that problem that has an opportunity attached to it. But again, as much as it has opportunity, it is also high risk because it's a matter of life and death. Goliath is a high risk problem. It's a high risk, but at the same, same time, it's a high opportunity at the same time. Goliath is a God-designed challenge. He is not from the devil. Goliath is God speaking to you to come out of your comfort zone. Goliath is God speaking to you to move out of where you were. In Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 6, God speaks to the children of Israel. They have already moved from Egypt, but now they are getting comfortable. They have been living around the mountain. But the Lord speaks to Moses and say, and the Lord spoke to us and told us, you have lived in this mountain for too long. Goliath is that instrument that Lord will send to tell you that you've lived in this mountain for too long. You are comfortable in this company now. Sometimes it may come as retrenchment. Sometimes it may come, Goliath may come as the landlord who no longer wants you to stay in that house anymore. But it's because we have been comfortable in that level. And so God allows him to come and challenge our comfortability. Goliath is God pushing you into the next level of your life. Goliath is the challenge that stands between you and your destiny. It is that challenge that you cannot run away from. If you run away from him, then you have no tomorrow. But if you confront him, then you are moving to your next level. Goliath is a catch-22 catch situation. You cannot run away from him. And at the same, same time, you are afraid of facing him. But we are here to tell you that God is with you. Goliath is the very reason why you are anointed. Goliath is the instrument of God demonstrating that his anointing is upon your life. Goliath is a situation that will bring out the best in you. Goliath is that thing that will push you off from where you are so comfortable, even though it is a challenge. Goliath will always threaten your comfort. He will never allow you to settle. You need to understand the battle you must fight, he will not let the angels to fight for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you this morning, battles of destinies are not fought by others on your behalf. You have to rise and fight all you by yourself. There are things that you must be willing to confront all by yourself. And I am here to speak to a few of us, children of destiny that are listening to me. You have been running your entire life. You have been facing life from fear. You've been running away from the voice of Goliath that's in your life. You are meant for the top, but you're right now at the bottom because of fear. You are meant to get much, but you're getting very little because of fear. You are, you are meant to do more, but you're doing very little because you're afraid. You are that person that doesn't want to cross people's line in a bad way. But we are here to tell you that God will allow certain challenges in this season, particularly to be able to push you off and to break off that shell and to move you to that next level of your life. I'm here to let you know that that challenge is not for you to die, but it's to manifest the glory of God. It's there to show forth that which God has deposited in your life. That is what Goliath comes to do. Goliath is a tailor. It's tailor made for your strength. He is a designer problem. He is there because God has already put in the ability to confront him. Goliath is a problem that is tailor made by God to move you from your comfort zone. He is there to challenge your comfort that you can be able to move to the next level. Practical example. In the life of Jesus Christ, we meet with a few of his friends and they are called Martha and Mary and, and Lazarus. And the Bible says that at that point in time, that is in John chapter 11, you find that Lazarus is sick 
And at some point, they sent out to him. They were comfortable because Jesus was their friend. But the Bible says that Jesus stayed even longer, knowing that the man was about to die. But even though the man was about to die, death is not an easy thing. Losing a close loved one, it's not an easy thing. But when the disciples talked to Jesus, he said, this death, this sickness is not unto death. But it is there for the glory of God. Goliath is not a problem that comes to kill you. It's a problem that comes that the glory of God may be revealed in your life. And so as you're there, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't allow fear to be the driving force of your life. Because most of the time as we as most of the time as we face Goliath, the only thing that comes is fear. We see what we cannot. We look at our abilities. We look at our inabilities. We look at our shortcomings. We focus on who we are. We focus on ourselves. And at the end of the day, when we realize that our resources are limited, then we begin to limit God in that way. I am here to let you know, child of God, that Goliath is not there to kill you. Goliath is not made to kill you. Goliath came into your life for God to be glorified. Goliath is a problem that will teach you to depend on God. Goliath is a challenge that will push you back to your faith. Goliath is a problem that will make you set out the word of God again. Goliath is a challenge that will be able to make you believe God even if you can't believe God because you have no option anyway. If you don't believe in him, it looks like it's going to kill you. And so you just have to believe God. And so that is why when Jesus, talking about Lazarus, the Bible says, finally he's dead. But Jesus say, I told you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God today. And so I'm here to let you know that you could be facing Goliath and fear has crept in and fear has crept in. You think Goliath is going to kill you. I'm here to let you know that Goliath is not here to kill you. Goliath is here that the glory of God may be manifested in your life. Only if you will not be afraid, but if you will believe in God, believe in the power of God, believe in the promises of God, believe in the pro provisions of God, then Goliath will be the very reward that will announce you to your world. I want to pray with you this morning. Maybe you're going through difficult moments and you don't know what to do. And my prayer is just to strengthen you so that you, instead of running away from your Goliath, you will instead face your Goliath. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my dear brothers and sisters that are viewing us this morning, wherever they are. And Lord, as you have told us, they could be facing several types of Goliaths in their lives. And the driving force of their life is fear. Today, I rebuke every spirit of fear. Today, I rebuke every spirit of discouragement. I rebuke every spirit of depression. And I speak faith into their lives. I speak the purpose of God to be revived, reignited. I speak that the glory of God will be revealed in their situation. Let miracles happen to the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Let's meet again tomorrow as we continue with this conversation. Amen.